So Fox News has been working overtime to put the blame away from guns when it comes to mass shootings and, you know, terror attacks like in the case of El Paso. Um, I want you to watch this. This is amazing because it's like they all got on the same page and they all agreed deflect and discuss anything but gun reform. Guns have been a part of this nation since its founding, but we've only had these frequent mass shootings in the last 20 years, so clearly there is something else wrong here. There have been evil people in every single government, and this is what happens when you have someone who doesn't fear the Lord, who doesn't fear God, who doesn't, as uh, Mike Huckabee was saying, who doesn't value human life. We've had yet another mass public shooting in a place where the victims weren't allowed to defend themselves. We are a culture that no longer values life. Look at 44 million abortions. Why are kids getting indoctrinated with video game messages, media, and, and entertainment that says that it's okay to do this? Young men are the problem. Our leaders are too cowardly to say so, but the signs are everywhere. Mass shootings are just the final manifestation of the problem. It appears he had shown the signs of mental illness quite early. Is it social media over social interaction? Is it this disconnect? Is it the breakdown of our family? Does it have something to do with entertainment choices? It's the hate inside the heart. It's the loss of morality. It's that disconnecting from a God who values all people. The Judeo-Christian tradition that we teach at Liberty, et cetera, ha has been crushed. We no longer teach kids in K-12 education the first 13 years of their life that other human beings have a soul. We're a culture where, as I said yesterday, you, you go to church on Sunday and you try to bring your kids up right, but when they go to school on Monday, uh, we've kicked God out of school. We don't let them talk about these types of issues. We have a youth mental health crisis likely caused by over-medication, absentee parents, and a culture that glorifies infamy and notoriety above God, family, and community. We have had a breakdown in society of things that make people belong, and all of that has gotten dumped online, leaving people feeling very isolated. And people like these individuals, you know, one of the patterns that you see here is that detachment. In a lot of these cases, these young men have no father, no father at home. Boys are marginalized in this society, you know, and, and boys are told that, uh, that they are aggressive and more likely to assault yeah. people and assault women. And it's really tough because, you know, we, we have to create a climate where, yes, we're honest about things, but uh, we are not othering people to the point where we force them into isolation. There's a mass loneliness crisis going on here, a mass crisis of meaning. Where they can do something about the video game industry. Video games, as we had the lieutenant governor of Texas on Fox & Friends yesterday, first shooter games would desensitize folks to the violence. When we're talking to each other on social media or looking at video games where they're using you know, uh, uh, videos of, uh, of characters with these uh, weapons. People point out the fact that the mall and the Walmart where the shooting happened in Texas were gun-free zones, where guns were banned. Mm -hmm. So people wonder, hey, this is Texas. We, we would expect someone to immediately be shooting back. It could be the video games, it could be just not, I mean, not maybe grow. I believe you grow parenting. up and parenting, grow up, you go to church on Sundays. That teaches you, you know, to have fear, fear of God and, and to have good morals. I mean, there's so many different factors yeah. you don't know. I mean, maybe a child's born with, you know, something, mental illness. I mean, their propaganda is so blatant. It's just right in your face. So here's the comprehensive list of things that they blamed. There's not enough guns, so there's too few guns. Um, there's 44 million abortions, video games, mental illness, social media, breakdown of the family, entertainment, so I guess TV and movies, no fathers, and God, my favorite, lack of God. Lack of, like, prayer in school. The thing that's so infuriating is that... I need you to think about this. The number one ranked cable news station, which is, you know, Fox News, which is just propaganda for the Republican Party. They work so hard, and they work overtime, to pump out this message. That it's anything but the guns, anything but the guns, anything but the guns. Even with that being the case, even with every Republican politician in the country gaslighting on this issue, it's still the case that over 90% of the American people support universal background checks. It's still the case that every major basic gun reform polls well over 50%. Isn't that incredible? Even with all of this nonstop, relentless 
pervasive, persistent propaganda. Even Republicans go, nah, I don't agree. No, you're wrong. Even NRA members want universal background checks with no exceptions. Did you know that? Even NRA members. So the problem, just to be clear here, the problem is that the gun makers, so the people who make money from selling guns, the gun manufacturers, they give money to the NRA, the gun lobby, and then the gun lobby gives it to Republican politicians, and their strings attached. And the strings attached are, don't change anything at all, ever. Period. Doesn't matter how common sense it is, doesn't matter how basic it is, because that cuts into our profits. So basically, policy is being set by the one group in the country that has a vested interest to make sure gun laws never change. Doesn't matter how many dead bodies pile up, doesn't matter how many children get slaughtered, doesn't matter how often we have mass shootings, doesn't matter. The answer is always, do nothing. But it, I really do find it incredible, and you're seeing this on other issues too now with Medicare for All, doesn't matter how much propaganda they throw at it, it polls well over 50%, it was one poll at 70%, other polls at around 60 but, like, it doesn't matter, all the propaganda nonstop, that common sense thing that a lot of people have, the default, it's just too much, you can't override it. Because people go, yeah, no, we have 400 million guns in this country and only, what, 320 million, 340 million people? Maybe that's part of the problem as to why we have more mass shootings than any other developed country, period. Maybe that's part of it. And again, we're not talking about anything extreme here. We're not talking about anything crazy. And we're not under any illusions that it would fully eliminate all mass shootings either. That's the other part to this. If you do a universal background check with no exceptions... If you do a ban on high-capacity magazines, if you ban assault weapons, if you have regular mental health checks and testing in order for somebody to own a gun. So, if you have all those things, are we going to eliminate mass shootings? No. But, are we going to massively reduce the number of gun deaths? Absolutely. And it's proven because other countries that have different versions of gun reform have fewer gun deaths. So, this is all, we know all this to be the case. So... There's 32,000 gun deaths now. That's homicide, suicides, accidents, all different kinds of gun deaths. Is it possible to reduce that? Cut it in half, maybe? Sure, of course. There's about 10,000 homicides. Can we cut that to at least five by doing some basic gun reforms? Yeah, of course. But um, Fox News is not interested in solving problems. They're not interested in telling you the truth. They're interested in obfuscating. Obfuscating, deflecting, shifting blame. And um, that's what they do all day long. So that's why you get a pathetic, incredibly pathetic compilation like you just saw right there. I'm going to go through it again for you. Not enough guns, 44 million abortions, video games, mental illness, social media, breakdown of the family, entertainment, no fathers, and lack of God. All of those things are in the conversation. It's not allowed in the conversation. Very basic gun reform.